I still often find it weird that Sherlock Holmes is, for the most part, in the public domain. However, I'm very glad that it is, because it means that we get such films as Mr. Holmes. Now, I will say I do find it peculiar when somebody is writing a character that is not their original character. By which I mean, to the best of my knowledge, Arthur Conan Doyle never put Sherlock Holmes into this situation. So I find that something quite uncomfortable. But once you get over that fact, it's actually a really good film, a really entertaining film. The novel on which it's based is written by Mitch Cullen. The screenplay is by Jeffrey Hatcher and directed by Bill Condon, released in 2015. Ian McKellen. Sir Ian McKellen as Sherlock Holmes is absolutely fantastic. He is phenomenal in this role and I feel like he really captures the essence of Holmes while really while also giving his own spin on the character and that's obviously something that is essential when you're going to be stepping into the shoes of a character who has been done time and time again. You know, we've seen countless interpretations of Sherlock. This one, because of the type of story, it's very different. And so you actually know what I'm going on about. I'll read the description from IMDb. No spoilers. And this says... An aged, retired Sherlock Holmes deals with dementia as he tries to remember his final case and a mysterious woman whose memory haunts him. He also befriends a fan, the young son of his housekeeper, who wants him to work again. Straight away, there's going to be an emotional level to this. Any film with anybody dealing with dementia is, you know, heartbreaking. The fact that this takes a known character... Somebody a lot of people have grown up with, with the books, with you know, the different films and TV shows. And suddenly putting him in a situation where he's no longer this... I was going to say wizard, that's maybe not the right word. Maybe I'm just thinking of Sir Ian McKellen. Um, no, his mind is just magic. He's, he's an incredible person. Brilliantly written and constructed character with a personality and um, a brain that is so fascinating and quick and fantastic and fabulous and then you give him dementia and you start to see the exterior crumbling along with the interior and it's it's hard to watch but it's also an absolute delight it's a drama it's a, it's a mystery there are a lot of surprises along the along the way um and excuse me while I try not to choke on my own air I just swallowed an air bubble it's fantastic. If you like Sherlock Holmes, this is a must. I think the casting is perfect. Through Lynn McKellen as Sherlock Holmes is amazing. We also have Laura Linney, Roger Allen. It's beautifully cast, very well acted. And it had 19 nominations, but apparently not one single win, which I think is pretty, pretty awful, actually. Um, it was nominated for the Best Thriller Film at the Academy of Sci-Fi, Fantasy and Horror Films. And I would never have considered this any of those genres or a thriller. But if you disagree with me, let me know. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on how you would you know, classify this kind of thing. Because technically it's a fantasy because he's not a real person. But at the same time, no film character is unless they're based on, you know, unless it's a biopic. So I'm not sure about that. I don't think that's a very good um, category for the film. But in terms of being a drama and a mystery, it's quite heightened. It's lovely. We have some gorgeous scenery. It's set in the 40s. So we obviously have some lovely costumes and you know the cars, the architecture. You, you will feel transported to the 40s. It's, it's a lot of fun. Post-war 40s. And it's beautiful. I don't know where it was filmed um, in terms of how much of it was constructed sets and how much of it was pre-existing architecture. But it's, it's, a, it's stunning to watch. It had a budget of $11 million apparently and you can see that that is money well spent. I mean, I, I don't know how much Sir Ian McKellen was paid for this and I probably don't want to know. But the rest of it is absolutely beautiful. I'm just looking at the locations list just now on IMDb and there's a great mix of places. Hatfield House in Hertfordshire, London, East Sussex, the historic dock for dockyard in Chatham in Kent, 
Uh, it was also filmed just down the road from me in Camden at the Red Lion Square. So that's quite interesting. Beautiful film, gorgeous scenery, perfect location choices. Ultimately, it's a, an emotional, emotive, fascinating narrative with a perfect casting and an amazing performance from Sir Ian McKellen. If you haven't seen Mr. Holmes, definitely check it out.